Um, <clears throat> I don't even know. How to move on from the past and focus on actuality and building generational wealth. <clears throat> I mean, knowledge is power. Generational wealth. I mean, setting goals, you know, generational wealth. I can't really speak on something that I don't do. What I'm doing personally right now is I'm putting like $20, $25, $50 here and there in my uh, Fidelity account that I have for my baby and buying stocks from him for him <clears throat> here and there. Um, stocks that actually generate dividends so I can open another account. Every $100 that I put in, I get 13 back immediately. Put that in into a, a high-yielding bank account for him. But generational wealth, it takes uh, more so networking. You know, nobody's an island. But at the end of the day, I'm doing better. I told it was only three days. It was only a, it, I, I, I put a little bit on it. It wasn't three days. It was like a week. But I wasn't addicted to heroin for like, uh, uh, uh. like I, I sipped some lean, of course. I'm from Atlanta. I came out in that area. Like, I was doing parkies and shit like that. But I never actually got addicted. Like, I did coke a lot, but I've never got addicted. I've seen people who used to be addicted to cocaine and they see a bag of coke and they just look like they just, they're looking at the baddest pussy that has ever been invented by God's hands. And I'm like, Nigga, you are a J, bro. If you pull out a bag of coke in front of me, they look like that shit's a million dollars on the table in cash. And I'm just like, it's not even that serious. Like, even just playing with people, like, you know I just, uh, you know I got a little bit of that white. Dude, no fucking way, bro. Bust it out, man. man I was just playing, you motherfucking crackhead. With the... How to move on from the past? Uh, You know, you got to... You got to you gotta take those emotions, swim in it. You got to take those emotions. You got to swim in it. You got you to gotta make love with those emotions. And what does that mean? You have to be one with those emotions. The, emo the good emotions as well as the bad emotions. And the fact that, you know, a lot of people talk about their exes and stupid ass shit and stupid ass people. That's because they haven't purely and truly sat down and put themselves in that pool of emotions. You haven't even gone through the water. You haven't actually placed yourself in the situations and reminisced on the good as well as the bad. I could think about something and somebody and not even feel the same emotions that I would feel. Like, for example, with trauma, if you don't actually get over those emotions, you're gonna be triggered. You're gonna relive the situation consistently. Okay, so there's a guy named uh, Swamiji Manithyananda. He says reliving is relieving, but he didn't explain it all the way. It's not really necessarily about reliving the situation in totality. It's about feeling the emotions, attaching to that person with the image visually, then detaching, cutting the cord. There's energetically something that you can do about that but if you're constantly oh my baby daddy you're my me my baby daddy and my daddy's baby and my baby daddy's daddy 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 i don't want to hear that shit bitch i don't give a fuck but if you constantly do that without actually being present in those emotions then it's gonna go nowhere you're gonna keep going through a cycle If that's what you want to do, that's what you want to do. But locating where that pain is, where that hurt is, whether it be in the physical body, the emotional body, the mental body, understanding yourself, self-awareness, self-actualization, understanding where that pain is, where those emotions are inside of that situation, pinpointing it, putting a lot of love and understanding on it. And if you're depressed about it, be depressed, feel it. Don't be obsessed with it, feel it. If you're happy about it, if you're like, damn, that nigga has some motherfucking big ass, good ass, then um, meditate on that. If you're like, damn, this nigga could cook his ass off. I wish I could, I wish I could just have one more, you know, meditate on that. But eventually you have to bring yourself 
back to life, back to reality. You know what I mean? But that was a real good question, man. That was a real good question. But uh, at the end of the day, it is what it is. That's not what it's like. <laughs> That's Amos. Like, I know you want me. <laughs> Life is in the breath. Breathe it in. Oh, wait, 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 let me do my... It's Aaron Moses. I'm the man, you the brain, we the brain, together, man, life's in the breath. This is the Like It or Not podcast episode 45. 40. Have a good Sunday, baby. Peace. Gang, gang.